Many schools seem to be the same as they were 50 or 100 years ago. They're settled in. Hudson has a certain dynamic aspect of it. I think it comes out of its entrepreneurial beginning and its entrepreneurial board. It was uh, a business school uh, to start with. The Park Street campus was finished the year I was born. I was born on July 25th, 1940. It was a privately held business at that point. Uh, Chesley Husson was, was the owner of the college. To build it, borrowed everything he could and, and mortgaged his home and everything else. Then in the late 40s, they were down to about four or five faculty. And then the GI Bill came through and there just was a surge that really took off. And that's where Clara Swan and Bill Donahue and Del Merrill and that whole gang came charging through. We introduced new schools alongside the business school. We moved into graduate programs and eventually into doctoral programs. There were 550 acres of, of land in the original parcel. It was a big dairy farm. I helped acquire all the land here. Uh, because we were trying to do it quietly before anybody realized that it ultimately was going to be a campus uh, for Hudson College. Part of the tremendous successful growth of Hudson was based on Bill's vision of what Hudson could be from the, uh, the building on the top of the hill to this extraordinary campus that we enjoy now. Dick Dyke making the investment uh, in the Center for Family Business because it was a breakout strategy that says Hassan now is beginning to grow and expand. And it just kind of it like opened up the floodgates in just one building after the other, the Commons, the Meeting House, the uh, Alfond uh, Field and Winken uh, Stadium. Those things all kind of followed in sequence. And it was really quite exciting. It changes lives. And you know, our policy has been to keep our cost within reach, where so many other colleges and universities haven't. In this transformational period of last quarter century, uh, the fact that we've been an anchor to Windward with this uh, commitment, they prize teaching more than anything else. And the mission, the mission of the school has remained sound and true. Uh, and that is to prepare graduates for careers of the future. And that job is never done. It's ongoing. Investing in people is the best investment you can make. Education is something you can't take away from you. Chesley Hudson arrived here 90 years ago. And I just think of his dream, his vision, and uh, he would be so proud of seeing Hudson today and where it's headed in the future.